Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for you for the Journey event. Uh, it's like a Centaur Dominion Fields type of Journey event with a new loopy troop that you get in the shop, so make sure you do that first. But I got a high level team and a low level team, and I have two teams with only one of the Journey troop on it. One Pathfinder, because I know that's a problem for some of y'all sometimes. Even though I do recommend you buy up into the shop up to get your... Get your journey troop and then use two minor blues on it so you have it fully ascended and then go get more copies of it so you buy up to like two or three in the shop like to the weapon buy up to the weapon fully ascend however it may be that you do that fully ascend your journey troop and then and then get to go to the next uh one next potion in the shop that way you have multiple copies of the journey troop it always works best if you do it like that if you can i know some people still need blue orbs but we just had a vault event how many vault keys did you get by the way <coughs> excuse me also hey hit that like button let's see what happens you know it's free pause the video right now go make sure that you hit that like button go double check i'd really appreciate it let's see what happens if like a bunch of us hit the like button i'd really really appreciate it i want to see what happens it's free it helps the channel please do it pause the video go hit that like button thank you so much all right here is the first team this is just like hey i only got one of the journey troop i you know forgot to forgot to do it the right way or i don't have blue orbs uh, so we got the uh, new troop, we got um, Wand of Stars, we got World Breaker, and we got Astral Mother. So I'm just using pretty much the two mythics with the Wand of Stars. I think that works really good at the beginning of the event if you can do it. That way you can cast the World Breaker and wipe everything out in one shot early. Or Astral Mother, and you can remove a certain color that isn't um, green or yellow probably. You would probably want to remove something that's not green or yellow with the Astro Mother. Um, the World Breaker also has a cool third trait that will help out the team as you loop and loop and loop. Mostly the strategy is just a loop with the new troop. Like, it's a good infinite looper. Just make sure you have all Centaur, right? And I think you can... Like, there's no way to not have all Centaur unless you use the wrong class. So just use... As long as you use Oracle class, you can't do it wrong. And you should be looping and just casting the Journey troop over and over and over. It gives you more points. It's the Pathfinder... It'll help you get to the shiny keys, and it does double damage. Like, it has two times magic, so make sure you use it and put it in first slot. It has good traits for skull damage. Incidental skull damage will help you go a little bit faster than just casting over and over and over slowly. Like, the skull damage that, hap that happens by accident, like the happy accident skull damage, will make things go faster. So make sure she's in first slot. All right, here's the low-level team. Like, I don't have Astral Mother, I don't have World Breaker, and I forgot, oops, I only got one of the new troop. What's her name, by the way? Hippolyta is the new troop, uh, is, is the new troop's name. Uh, but yeah, Hippolyta, this would be the low-level team, so you don't have World Breaker, you don't have Astral Mother. If you have one of those and you don't, just plug it in. Just plug it in on this team in one of the last two slots. So we have Hippolyta. We have the Rose Bow, which is the only weapon that will mana ge generate from Divinion Fields that works with this team. So hopefully you have it. And if you don't, it's it's probably in the in the Soul Forge right now for only you just had the Vault Event. So once again, I don't feel terrible since we have so many Vault Events recently. And we have Anthea, then we have Orion. Orion's just there to summon in case you lose your looper. You still got the Rose Bow to do some damage. That's why you need that. Anthea just makes yellow and green. So this is like this is the low-level team. Anthea will help you get up and keep your loop going. Just cast Hippolyta over and over and over and loop. Um, the weapon's only there, like, if you take purple and get it up first, or if you lose your Pathfinder, then you can summon in Orion, a legendary, with, 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 with Orion's uh, Herald. And then, um, you know, you still got the bow. You got Orion now, so you're back in action. It sucks if you lose your looper, but at least we have backup plans. So that's what I would do if I was a low-level player with no Mythics. All right, here's the actual team. If you have everything, if you did everything right, here is the actual team. This is the one I'm going to use for sure. We got Hippolyta, Hippolyta, uh, Rosebow, and Worldbreaker. 
So the only thing that really matters is Hippolyta. You're just going to cast that over and over and over and over. We're not going to cast World Breaker. Maybe super early in the journey event when he one-shots, we'll cast World Breaker. But after that, we're just using World Breaker for its third trait. Its third trait gives five to a random skill on four or five gym match. So every time we're looping with Hippolyta, we're getting five to a random skill. Uh, I think, is it for the whole team or is it for... I think it's for, is it for the whole team? I can't remember, but it's just nice. Um, and just, to, you can cast it early. I think World Breaker is the best thing to put. It's the only thing that had a, a third trait that actually did something on four or five gym match. I'm, I'm struggling to remember if it gives it to like all Centaur or a random ally or just itself. But if it gives it to itself, maybe it'll give itself a bunch of magic and then you can cast it. I don't know. It was the only thing doing anything on 4 or 5 gym match. And it's a troop that hits all enemies, and it mana generates, and it's a mythic, and it's a fun mythic you don't get to use very often, so yeah. Just loop Hippolyta, basically. Y'all knew that coming into this video. Loop Hippolyta. And once again, I want to ask, please hit the like button. Let's see what happens. I'd really appreciate it. Um, it's free, and, and just takes a second. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Tear, get up at the channel, comment below, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.